Howdy, Tinker Nerds. Last week we talked about cloud computing and I showed you how to create a cloud computing device using a Raspberry Pi. If you haven't seen it yet, just click here. But what if you didn't want all this fancy cloud computing software? What if all you wanted was a place to back up and store your data? Well, adding a storage device to your network is called creating a NAS. And basically, it's just a minimalistic computer with a boatload of extra storage. So using our token minimalistic computer, let's create our own network attached storage. All right, you can find the project page at the link below, but there's a lot to do, so let's start tinkering. The first thing you wanna do is download the Raspbian image from this website. This is a stripped down version of Debian Linux, so what I'm about to do here should also work on other Debian based distributions, such as Ubuntu. You then want to burn the image to an SD card using either Win32 Disk Imager on Windows or the DD command on Linux or Mac. Then plug the SD card into your Pi along with video, mouse, keyboard, internet, power, and your external storage device. Then once your Pi boots up, you can log in using Pi for the username and Raspberry for the password. And then we need to update our apt-get repositories and install NTFS 3G to add support for NTFS formatted disks, which is what most Windows disks use. Next, we can use the fdisk-l command to determine where your external drive is located. Mine is at dev sda1. So then we can make a folder in our media directory to mount it to, and then use the auto mount command to mount it to that folder. After that, we need to install Samba, which allows us to share files with Mac and Windows machines. Once that's installed, we need to edit the configuration file and tweak it a little bit. First, under authentication, remove the hash before security equals user. And if you want people to be able to write to the directories, under share definitions and homes, change read only to no. Then scroll all the way to the very end and add these lines, changing the path to equal the mount path that we just created. Next, save and exit the file and restart Samba. Now we need to add a user to the users list. First, create a new user. I'm gonna create the user Gigafied. Then add a password to it using this command, and after that we can add the user account to Samba itself. Now on a different computer, if you browse through the network, you should see your Raspberry Pi. Trying to access it will prompt you for your username and password, and you just enter the user and password we created. Then start storing stuff to it. And to access this for mobile devices, you can use apps like Samba for Android or File Explorer for iOS to access network shares. To turn your NAS into cloud storage, you're gonna to need to set up some Linux software such as Open Media Vault so you can access your shares from any web browser. And to access it from places beyond just your network, you're gonna to need to set up port forwarding and you can find a video on that here. Now to be fair, the Raspberry Pi probably isn't the best device for network attached storage. But feel free to look into alternatives such as the Intel Nook, the Synology Disk Station, or the Banana Pi for more storage and software options. Again, you can find the project page for this video at the link below. And if you got any value from this video and would like to give some value back, please consider sending some Bitcoins my way or donating to my Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash Tinkernut. All right, that's it for this episode of Tinkernut Labs. For more, go to tinkernut.com, where technology and creativity collide.